Welcome to today's session, where we'll be discussing lobular breast cancer. This is a unique type of breast cancer that presents its own set of challenges when it comes to diagnosis as well as understanding it. So let's dive into what lobular breast cancer is all about, how it presents in patients, and why certain imaging techniques like MRIs can play a crucial role in its detection. So what is lobular breast cancer? Lobular breast cancer, known as invasive lobular carcinoma, or ILC, originates in the milk-producing glands of the breast. Unlike invasive ductal carcinoma, which is the most common type of breast cancer we see, lobular cancer can be subtle and diffuse in its growth. It accounts for about 10 to 15% of all breast cancer cases, and its unique characteristics make it distinct. How does lobular breast cancer present? Well, lobular breast cancer often presents differently compared to other breast cancer types. As you know, breast cancer can present in different ways, including as a lump, thickening, dimpling, and a change in the breast shape. Although lobular cancers can present as a lump, it may be less obvious or discreet and manifest as a thickening or a fullness in a specific breast area instead. And so this elusive nature can make it difficult to detect through regular breast exams as well as mammograms. Moreover, lobular cancer cells tend to spread linearly along the tissues, leading to changes in breast texture rather than a well-defined mass. So what are the specific challenges with lobular cancer? Well, it spreads along tissues, meaning that lobular cancer cells tend to grow in a linear pattern and can spread along the milk ducts and lobules. As mentioned, this can lead to changes in the breast texture rather than forming a lump. This can result in subtle diffuse thickening or distortion of the breast tissue instead. It can also pose mammographic challenges. Mammograms may not always effectively detect lobular breast cancer due to the lack of a well-defined mass. Additionally, the linear growth pattern of lobular cancer cells can be more difficult to visualize on mammography. The other problem is how it appears on imaging. It may appear as architectural distortion or a subtle asymmetry on mammograms, making it harder to differentiate from benign breast conditions. So this is where magnetic resonance imaging or MRI comes into play. And it is helpful in looking at lobular breast cancer due to its ability to provide a detailed and comprehensive image of breast tissue. It offers several advantages that make it particularly useful to detect and characterize lobular breast cancer. First, it gives enhanced soft tissue visualization. It provides high resolution images of soft tissues, including the breast which is especially valuable in detecting subtle changes in tissue density and architecture commonly associated with lobular breast cancer. Secondly, it provides multidimensional views. It produces images in multiple planes, allowing for a more complete assessment of breast tissue. And this is important for capturing the spread and extent of lobular cancer, which often grows linearly. Thirdly, contrast enhancement. Contrast agents can be used during an MRI to enhance the visibility of blood vessels and areas of abnormal tissue such as cancerous tumors. And this again can help differentiate between cancerous and non-cancerous tissue in the breast. And for those concerned about bilateral involvement where cancer appears in both breasts, MRI is very good at evaluating both breasts at the same time, which gives a very comprehensive assessment. Now, while MRI has several advantages, it's important to note that it is not always the first line imaging option for all breast cancer cases. It is often used in specific situations, such as when there are challenges with mammography or ultrasound in detecting and characterizing breast abnormalities, such as in lobular cancer. So the first imaging of choice is normally always a mammogram and or an ultrasound scan. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.